All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here, and I got some more space engineers, and we're going to be looking at another pretty awesome ship. So let's get over here, ran into this asteroid field, and look what I discovered on the other side. A giant battleship. Looks like it was about to dock at this space station here, where we had this larger cruiser and a small, almost like Corvette-style ship. But this... The creator said it was inspired from the Iowa class battleship and as I know a lot of you guys like myself are both fans of this game in space warfare space exploration spaceships as well as World War II I thought it was a nice tie-in because this is inspired he said not trying to mimic it but inspired from the Iowa class battleship which is one of the finest American battleships designed during World War II. So we're going to be taking a look at it. Now, <clears throat> the thing is, as this game continues to get update, updated, there's more tools and doodads at your disposal. So if this is going to be a mix of kind of showing off what people can build within the game, and then also I'm going to kind of critique it a bit give my viewpoints on how like you know I didn't go through the hard work of building this thing which is a feat in and of itself but the cool thing about space engineers is this guy shared his creation on the workshop and then you can get it and you can edit and modify that ship so let's kinda land down here on the deck here right in between these engines <clears throat> and uh... You know, just continue to dock downwards. Not the best landing pilot here, but we'll do our best. You can kind of cheat by doing that. Once they're yellow, then you just gotta lock them in place by pressing P. We'll jump out. We won't need our assault rifle here. Turn on our lights. Turn back on our HUD. And kind of get a feel for this ship. So, I've noticed that at the front of it, it's got a few, you know, rockets and then a few defense kind of Gatling guns. And I would imagine they would be ballistics based, but you never know, they may be lasers. At the current state in the game, these weapon systems don't work. You have to remember, while this game does look gorgeous, it is still in very early alpha, which is just awesome to think about you know the endless possibilities that this game has so as we approach going down here you have these large engines up on the side and um, since you're in space you have to be able to maneuver in both the X Y and Z axis so that's why these engines are up on the top now I am a fan of I've seen some ships where people hide the engines internally and it makes the ships maybe look a little more crisp but almost like it's just not realistic because at some point in this game you're not going to be able to have engines internalized and still expect them to function normally they would rip your ship apart and overheat uh, you know and melt armor plating and stuff like that so ones outside I'm more of a fan of because they seem a little more realistic to me now these I think they could be recessed maybe downwards or even put on the sides or something like that and not take up, as we decide to say right now, not take up, you know, kind of this precious deck space. Um, <clears throat> and you can see how, like, the like this gun, for example, couldn't track back to the other side as well because certain fields of fire would be blocked. But anyway, so we're going to approach the main batteries. And I'm not sure... Some people have figured out how to make rotating and working turrets. This is a very basic turret. So this could obviously be improved upon, but it does make it like kind of cool, especially with the changing in coloration. And then you got your command deck right here, where you know the ship would be crewed from. Um, not very well armored, but it does kind of give off that feel of like an old World War II inspired battleship. Even though these are space battleships, there's one person in the comments of the Yamato showing, called them spattleships. And then up here, 
you have a few more engines that can help you push backwards, a few different gun emplacements, and these make it look like they're radar installations. It'd be kind of cool if you had a little crow's nest maybe, like another little viewing area up here that you could get access to via a ladder system or something like that. But this is a very fragile area, and within a couple missile shots or main, secondary, or even tertiary batteries, you'd likely be able to knock this, you know, communications tower down. So here are the smokestacks, and I'm surprised there wasn't any engines in there, because they could be well hidden, and it'd be kind of cool. You know, it'd be a good use to kind of have those right here. Now, I know people on my last time said that they wanted to get into the ship. So as we get to the side here, it's kind of cool that, you know, you have these ladders and whatnot, but this kind of stairs go to nowhere. If there was a door or something getting down to the next level, that'd be cool, and then maybe another set of stairs would make this even more. So this is, this is a diamond in the rough, I would call this Iowa-inspired battleship. So we'll take the jetpack off, we'll go inside and check out the crew quarters. I like the stairs here, nice and symmetrical, and then here's kind of cool, in that you have, you know, your command chair, and maybe the weapons systems officer, and the communications officer, or something like that. I do like how, you know, the command chair's kind of up and separated. And pretty cool. And we'll go take a look outside, you can access the crews, there's not really any steps or stairs from that spot so that could be further improved upon which is kinda cool if you are a fan of this game and you wanna make an Iowa inspired space battleship you could easily load this up in the workshop you know play it yourself and then edit this ship so the command deck's pretty nice not very well armored I'm a big fan of kind of Someone pointed out in the comments the Battlestar from Battlestar Galactica. The way that ship is developed and created and just kind of organized. The command center is in the inside of the ship, so it's not as exposed. You'd still like one of these as like a secondary command deck. Like if you're not in wartime situation, you want to have the best view, you know, of the beautiful galaxy that you're traveling through, right? and then you get to see the asteroids and stuff and maybe even see the other ships in your fleet but in wartime situations like this right here you got a couple sections of armor plating and then you just got this open grates and yeah you are in a space battleship so you're able to use your main batteries from far far distances out than you know most ships they would have to get in closer to use smaller batteries and stuff like that but with these I would imagine you use almost like rail guns so you could fire from incredible distances, especially given, you know, space and uh, the lack of gravity if you're not near a gravitational, you know, exerting body, celestial body, as it were. I'm not a fan of these kind of guns on the sides. You could just put it right there and it'd be fine. And I'm on a, it's kind of funny because it's almost like, you know, ignoring some things and then critiquing hard some other things. This I understand because if you just wanted to fly the ship pretty easily you could just hop in it so I think that was more of practical than as opposed to ship design but um it's got a lot of missile batteries and little uh, almost ship defense type you know automatic turrets up there's just a lot of turrets could be refined on and back here in the back you have these two primary you know sets of three although the Iowa only had one rear set of three main gun and I don't like that because that gets in the way of your main batteries there in the back so obviously these space battleships you have two facing backwards and two spacing forwards but they can both turn to the side so that's generally like you want to face this side against the enemy so you can have all four of your big guns facing off against it It'd be cool to see some smaller turrets, you know, like you did have on battleships. Um, like smaller rotating turrets with maybe one to two smaller guns. And these obviously aren't firing. But it'd be cool to see that, especially for ships that are battleship inspired. But um, I do like how all these engines are on the side there. I like when the engines are exposed, as I said. I'm surprised there's not a couple bigger ones. You know, to kind of pair in there and 
give it a little contrast as opposed to just lines of the smaller engines. Like, let's see, I believe this is, yeah, like this is the size of a bigger engine. You know what I mean? So, as I derp around, there we go. You know, you could put something like that and then it kind of gives it a more grandiose feel to it, more power. You know, a couple big engines as opposed to small ones. But I do, I do like it. The bottom's kind of funny, the landing gear. <laughs> You'd have to dock this very carefully, but in a no gravity type situation, or where there's very little gravity, these pedals would be more than enough, or excuse me, these landing feet, would be more enough to lock something, on, lock this Iowa onto a, a space station. And now we have some rear engines on the bottom. Again, these guns are limited in their field of fire given the uh, kind of sticking out of the engines and then the landing gear as well. But um, it's pretty cool. I mean, you're not really expecting a lot of stuff. Like, you use these at distance so you can situate yourself to orient your main guns. And then the back, I do like it, but I would like to see more of the bigger engines. There's only a couple, and then this space in the middle is kind of weird especially if there's no like rear observation area but that's more spaceship type you know building doctrine as opposed to battleship building doctrine these little plates kind of out here guarding the main engines are a nice touch some extra armor to protect your you know very vulnerable and very necessary main engines now on the back is kind of I don't really like the tail but um, I think they may have tried to recreate, there's a crane on the back of the Iowa, which could drop out. So it would be cool if you kind of had a little hangar deck area that, you know, had either a lifting platform or a crane or something that could get out fighters or scout aircraft. Because you would want something like that to at least be accompanied with if this ship had no escort whatsoever. And it's cool how you, you know, let's take a look. Now, I get lost inside of ships, but you can see he has thought about it. And here we have some cargo containers and things like that. Maybe some weapons for what would ideally be some scout aircraft. Maybe fighters, maybe even some bombers or torpedo bombers. Now, these four interior guns, I'm not a fan of their positioning because of these things blocking them. They really have a very limited field of fire, so you'd, if you wanted one to kind of cover the spot, and then have a few more on the outside or something, or just recess these engines down one. And then have kind of like guardrails around it so none of your space cadets there got hurt. But um, I, I just think it's cool because this game, the potential for it is almost limitless. It's got Steam Workshop, so you're gonna, if you see a mod, all you gotta do is subscribe on the workshop. There's no you know, for those that are less technically savvy, there's no uh, getting lost and putting in the wrong folder and all that stuff. It's, it's as simple as clicking a button, which is one of the great things about Steam. You can I access this because I clicked a button and then loaded it up. There wasn't any transferring and copying of files. So mods, extra ships that are created by the community, just the sense of community will allow this game to have a lot of replayability and given it's kind of limited right now but it's very early um, alpha you can think how you could have World War II battles in space <laughs> you know if you imagine almost like how steampunk is where you have steam powered vessels you know in modern day you could have old school style World War II themed ships and vessels slugging out but in space you know, and you could have the Yamato and Iowa, Bismarck, carriers like that that are designed to fit the theme. And we're saving as we're kind of flying away. But, uh, <laughs> and then over here is just, if it is a battleship that's in space, I mean, there are guns on the bottoms and stuff. This would be a good spot to almost make it, it would turn it more towards Dreadnought inspired, but have little secondary batteries that are able you know maybe a recessed area in the armor plating where you have small rotational secondary or even tertiary turrets which would be kinda cool because this thing 
you know, if it rolls up next to someone, this is not, the ship is not designed, I don't think, very well to deal with close quarters battles. Although it does have a lot of, I guess, these are kind of placeholders, and to build turrets it is difficult, so I guess I can understand that. These are kind of his secondary batteries, are these missile batteries here. But it's cool. I'd add a few things and change up a few things, but I'm definitely, you know, doing a one-way street on some things and two-way streets on the other, and then I'm critiquing hard some spot and overlooking other things to fit my liking. But if I was to design or refine the ship, that is kind of what i do. I like this right here with the, the stairs going up to get access up here. It would be cool to have like a little observation spot or something overlooking where I would have you know a little hangar area and some fighters. But I am a fan of the armor plating on the main engines. These engines are a little exposed. You could probably add a little armor plating, but here's the thing. Armor plating is so heavy that it, it, it's very difficult to move a ship. If the whole thing's made out of armor plating, so like obviously when it gets more towards, and it's probably very expensive. I mean, if you think about the resources, this is kind of fun that I was thinking about. I've always been a fan of battleships, but when I started this game, I was thinking, you know, if I'm the head of a faction or an empire and I have finite resources, am I going to want to spend all of these resources on a battleship? It's why during World War II, they realized how valuable the carrier was and how the carrier was going to surpass the battleship in terms of combat necessity and then requirements and all that. You can get a carrier which is far, far lightly armored and far, far lightly armed and then have a lot of cheap, relatively cheap aircraft, you know, and think about this, this battleship is very impressive. It'd be so expensive in terms of manpower and time to build it, time, like cost of repair, and then just like all the armament it has. And then it's relatively limited compared to carriers and small fighter aircraft. Like you could send, I mean for the same price of this you could probably make a couple hundred smaller fighter and bomber style aircraft. And those would easily be able to knock this thing out, I'm sure. Although it does have a lot of weapon systems. But that's another thing. I think when you're designing this... I mean, if you look at how the Victory class Star Destroyer in Star Wars was designed, it was kind of a little more practical. Maybe a little too practical. Because I think they only have, what, 8 to 10 um, main turbo laser batteries? Or something like that. But I guess if you think about this, this has 12, what would be the equivalent of probably turbo laser or rail gun. But, um... You know, there wasn't a whole lot of weapon systems on it because if you think about if these are energy-based weapon systems, lasers, plasma, whatever, you know, you want to prescribe to, or if it's ballistics-based even, you know, and it's like uh, electromagnetic type stuff, like, like Halo almost, you know, those mag cannons and stuff, mag cannons, um, then you would need like magnetically accelerated cannons. I was fighting for the words right there. They would be a big drain on a couple nuclear reactors that you would have to, there's like a, a science to it. Efficient and in terms of efficient designs. You couldn't, you likely would not be able to power all of these weapon systems and all the engines off of without having the entire length of this just being nuclear reactors and stuff like that because it would be very energy consuming so when you have tons of weapon systems it's almost unrealistic I think this was designed more just to look cool but when we transfer that because we're in creative mode when it comes time for space battles and stuff like that you're gonna have to think about what is the most efficient design you know both in terms of cost as well as like energy use so we'll kinda be running around the ship here see what else is going on this is a dead end, a little, little unfortunate. See, you could use this for all kinds of purposes. But um, that was the smokestacks. Look at that saving. Oh, we're gonna fall off. Whew. Had to turn my jetpack on pretty quickly. So, I don't know. If I was in in charge of a faction, I wouldn't build a battleship or commit the resources to do so unless I was just far and away the most dominant faction within the area 
and it was it's almost like a weapon of terror you know and kind of like of the to serve as like a ceremonial style flagship where you just be like yeah my team and my faction is so wealthy and successful that we can afford to build these extravagant designs but i'd probably have something more more carrier you know a carrier cruiser smaller hybrid something like that that the main offensive weapon is the ships and the pilots it carries but anyway i've digressed this is an iowa themed a lot of stuff you could refine upon if you do if you are wanting to improve this and really make it awesome you know and this is not to go against the well, many many hours the person probably put into making this just very gorgeous looking space battleship you can do that and that's what I love about this game anyway my name is Baron this is just to kinda preface you know what we're gonna start doing now that multiplayer is kinda starting to be refined and come out to development and as this game goes from creative mode as they start incorporating survival mode and stuff like that and just space battles giant space battles are on the distant horizon this is kinda give you a little look at what is possible and this is still very very early alpha anyway my name is Baron I thank you all for watching I didn't really get into the ship because I, I get lost very easily <laughs> so if you want to do that this this bad boy is on the Steam Workshop and there are doors everywhere you can explore this thing to your heart's desire you could even put this up against the uh, Yamato there but I wanted to show you another thing like this probably is all made out of uh, armor and there's some other resources the blocks are a little limited right now but there are um, there are like bulkheads and interior stuff which is probably lighter in weight but more easily destroyed but uh... let's let's show you how slow this thing is because it's just so big and we're starting to lag a bit right now because we're moving I tell you what I think of all the roles I talked about in that first Yamato video which is a bit of a teaser I think drivers and captains of the capital ships like are gonna be one of the most skilled positions in you know an empire or in a, within the faction because it definitely is difficult right now I'm about 24 meters per second slowly rising so you could imagine this thing could get up to speed once it's up to speed it probably goes really quickly but then slowing it down it's gonna be hard you know Anyway, my name is Baron. I thank you all for watching. We're kind of lagging a bit. And that's just kind of, you know, early alpha type stuff. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to pull the trigger on the like button, and I am signing out. All right, ladies all right, and gentlemen, everyone. it's the LA Galaxy vs. the New York Cosmos. Yeah, we're going to kick your ass, boy. I don't even yes, know which one. Back. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Oh. All right. All right, we're, we're get playing the middle. soccer. One space soccer. Uh, we got one person in the middle. Hmm. Right, uh, uh, off the teams. You guys know how soccer and football works. All right, guys. We're playing <laughs> soccer. Some space soccer. Yeah, this we is are. not even international or whatever anymore. This is inter. Intergalactic. This is interstellar soccer.